What's going on guys, I'm Anders and today's video I'm going to give you an overview of my past PC build, the PowerPuff. This video is going to be focusing more in giving an example of how you can improve that gaming feeling into your PC by using different kind of components that has low budget. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with what's inside of this PC, the next four components are what we can get for a budget PC. So for the CPU, I went for the Core i3-7100. I got a mini ITX motherboard with the H270N Wi-Fi from Gigabyte. Using 1TB of Barracuda hard disk from Seagate. And from the GPU, the GeForce GT 710 from EVGA. And I know, I know, this is not the most powerful gaming PC on the world. But as I say on the beginning of the video, this PC build is just to show up you how you can improve that gaming looking and maybe a little bit the performance with the next components. Now here is where you can get a little bit more performance for your PC gaming with the Vulkan Gaming Memory RAMs from Team Group. The memories that I got for this build are two memories DDR4 of 8GB working with a frequency of 3000MHz. This memory looks dope with its aluminum frame with a cool and minimalistic design in black and red or black and grey and you can find them from 126 to 187 US dollars depending on the package of what you get which can be one memory of 4 gigabytes 16 gigabytes in two memories of 4 gigabytes 8 gigabytes one memory of 8 gigabytes 16 gigabytes on two memories of 8 gigabytes one memory of 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes in two memories of 16 gigabytes now to light out your pc there are a lot of options on the market of course and this time i went for the ones that thermaltic offers since they are pretty affordable and it has good quality the fans that I use on this PC are the Ring 120mm RGB fans that it comes in a package with 3 fans with its controller the one that will help you to set up the colors that you want between 256 colors you can find this package for only 58 USD the next product is the Thermatech Water 3.0 Dual Ring RGB 240 this water cooling comes with 2 RGB fans and the same RGB controller that I already mentioned. It's pretty easy to install and it has the cost of 115 USD. RGB LED strips cannot miss, so I went for the Thermatec Lumicolor 256C, which again it has his RGB controller, but this time the cables are different since these are not fans. The cool thing with these RGB LED strips is that if your motherboard has an RGB out, you're gonna be able to change the lights via your motherboard software. The package comes with three LED strips which are more than enough to light out all your PC for only 42 US dollars. This is the Thermaltake True Power DPS G RGB. This PSU it has RGB lighting with 16.8 million colors that can be controlled in software and it has a DPS function so you can control it or monitoring via PC or your mobile device. And of course this PSU is fully modular, reason why his price is around 100 US dollars. Every PC it has their main theme color. And finding a quick and cheap solution, I went for the Thermaltech Sleep Extension Power Supply Cables. Yes, I know these are extensions, but they get done the job. And for only 45 US dollars, your PC can look badass like this. Lastly, looking for a case that was compact, cheap, and allows me to make my PC build without problems of space for the cable management, I found all of these in the Thermaltake Core B21 case. This case is only 59 US dollars and it comes with an excellent structure and space that even allows me to configure the PC build in two ways. It has a side acrylic window that can change the position depending on what kind of view do you want for this PC and an excellent airflow. All of this on a compact and minimalistic design. And that's all for this video my friends, let me know in the comment section below what kind of components or items do you use on your PC to improve that gaming feeling. 
And if you like the video, don't forget to show your support by giving that thumbs up, sharing the video and subscribing to my channel, or that way you won't miss any of my future videos and content. And your good friend Fury Pixel, see you next time.